banking giant Barclays has announced the resignation of its chairman, Marcus Aegis. In a statement, he cites a devastating blow to the bank's reputation for the revelations it had tried to rig interest rates. He says, as chairman, I am the ultimate guardian of the bank's reputation, and accordingly, the buck stops with me. The Marcus Agius says he has to take responsibility after the bank was fined more than $450 million. And that was punishment for manipulating and for an interest rate for interbank lending. Now, Barclays chief executive Bob Diamond has been summoned by the UK Treasury to answer questions about the scandal, but he's refused to step down. In a statement, Agius said last week's events evidencing as they do unacceptable standards of behavior within the bank have dealt a devastating blow to Barclays reputation the buck stops with me and I must acknowledge responsibility by standing aside on Wednesday Bob Diamond will answer MPs questions about the LIBOR fixing scandal he'll say sorry and that senior management acted as soon as they realized what was going on but they'll want to know why he should stay I have a, a sort of reaction against the automatic cry for the head of a chief executive or indeed the head of a political minister has been I, I do believe that responsibility has to be taken but I would, I don't, and the knee-jerk reaction without thought and understanding about the whole situation, I, I'm hesitant about that. Heads have already rolled over this affair. We know that at RBS, four traders were sacked last year. But the scalp of the Barclays chairman proves this is a scandal of increasingly serious proportions, undoing any progress made in restoring public faith. <laughs> Last week, Barclays paid nearly half a billion dollars to British and U.S. authorities to settle accusations it manipulated key London bank interest rates.